and welcome to ASIJ Middle School's production of Dear Edwina Jr. We are so happy you are here. Here are a few things to keep in mind so that everyone is able to fully enjoy the show. 1. This show will end in time for you to catch the 5 p.m. bus, so don't worry. 2. Foods and drinks are not allowed in the theater. 3. Absolutely no phones, cameras, or other devices may be used during the show, but don't worry because the show will be available on ASIJ TV. Thank you for coming, and we hope you'll be ready to sing your own song. Hello, and welcome.
Robbie, you're gonna do that favor. We just want to do Great. Can you sing? Um. Can you dance? Well. You'll learn. I just came to drop off your friend, my mom. Maybe you're back, you know. Just going out there to do the a lot, but come back and star. Be brave, Lauren. I stubbed my toe with Lena. I heard there's a kid my age who lives here. You must have taken my sister Katie. She's got the best chance of her mouth and the best chance of the land. Oh, well, I heard we were moving in next year to the best piano player in town. Do you get piano lessons? You must have taken my sister Myra. I'm sure you can talk to her after the show. Oh. Well, you must be that drummer I heard this morning. You sound great. You must have taken my brother Joe. Oh. Well, who are you? I am the Dwina Spoon Apple, and vice giver extraordinaire. Perhaps you've heard of me. Not really. <gasps> Would you like to join our show? No thanks. No thanks necessary. And now, Bobby, let's just get you started on the opera and the big cat number and... <gasps> you can't eat fire by any chance, can you? Fire! She has Dwina. Can't you see she doesn't want to do it? A little stage fright never hurt anybody. <sighs> oh, forget it. Pull up the curtain. Say goodbye, everybody. Thank you, bye. I mean, think about what to do. Dear Lena, this is really important to you, isn't it? I couldn't possibly understand. Spontaneous is good at match, you get to big fat A. It's time to hold my family for Jan. And at every music class, it's Joe and Myra take the prize. Three say there are ribbons everywhere. And I'm proud to be their sister, but it really makes me blue. There isn't any prize for telling people what to do, except an invitation to Calama.
suggestion effort on our issues. A carries extra tissues. Beautiful Queen, I'll thank you and please. Take all our hearts, we'll give you the keys. You make the world a breezier place to be. You make the world a breezier place to be. Your good advice is such a sensation. All this advice is sweet elevation. All day. If you don't like something, you can't be polite. So when that happens, yes. if 
Is that half in your service? No, thank you. Peanut butter and jelly? Yeah. Child. Oh, that is much too scary for you. Tell it, tell it! Okay, get it out. Come and listen to the story of the strangest of nights in a faraway kingdom called Shaker Heights. Shelly Melly had a birthday that was coming to pass and invited all the kids in the grade school class. The kids arrived at sundown with gifts in tow and they started off the party with a puppet show. But just before the curtain came and knocked at the door, you thought all the kids were there. But there was still one more. Frank and Gas. Open my present. Frank and Gas. What do we eat? Frank and Gas. I hate puppets. He was a Frank and Gas. The party went on and 
Hope was in top form when they served the applesauce. He said, I want my one. When the hot dogs arrived, he said, Hamburger, please, and I only eat my burgers with Limburger cheese. And he shot around the table, I'm a waterfall. And he sprouted cherry Kool-Aid over one and all. Oh, when the ice cream was scooped and they brought out the cake, he said, I need the biggest piece. Plus one for my pet snake. Ranking us. <coughs> Ranking us. Stop it. You're scaring him. Ranking us. Small can call. He was a Franklin guest. What's the thing that makes him so offensive? See for that. What is the last? Genesis and what? That means I don't know. Is it because the moon is so big? Was he born?
find their parts and say, hello. That's right. What's more important than saying, hello? Problem that we hope you'll lend a hand. Won't you help us? 
here. We have a letter from Scott Anonymous. Dear Edwina, I've got girl problems. I car her a heart in Dad's wood shop, but it came out like a blob. So I made a sign that said, please be mine, out of kernels of corn on the cob. Every night I take out my telescope, and I wish on the asteroids that soar, that someday I'll get noticed by the girl that I adore. And I know you think it's stupid, but I'm writing just the same. To ask you what a boy should do when the whole world is shouting her to run, but I want you to know that was the most beautiful thing I ever heard. Why, thank you. In fact, I think we found a spot for you in the Kalamazoo Advisapalooza Festival. What a talent! What passion! What a range! Scott, you'll be just perfect to sing the national anthem at the opening ceremonies. Scott, but what about the rest of us? Oh. That's all we need for this year, honey. But, but what about Dr. Quick's brother's last minute cancellation? 
We got a new group in from Montreal. Advice du soleil. Advice du soleil? They stand on each other's heads. It's fabulous. I'm not going without my beloved Edwina. Now, Scott, we have a million things to do. We've got a meeting tomorrow with the Detroit Free Press. No. And we have to discuss what you're going to wear to the gala opening. No. Of course, Jennifer Lopez will back you up on the national anthem. No. Really? I'll have my assistant swing by the Dairy Queen in 15 minutes to pick you up. Come with me, Edwina. It's a right spot. As long as her papa. It's all right, Edwina. It's a great show. Next to her was Mary Kay Cooper. Isn't that the girl who beat up her all-state champion in the Division Division? Yeah, anyway, her and Sally became super best friends for the week, and as we finished up our quizzes, I had to finish first. Of course. I brought my, my answer to judge and everybody clapped. Hooray! All of a sudden, Sally whispered, I hate that girl, Katie. She thinks she's so great. And you heard her. Everyone did. And Mary Kay nodded. Maybe you just imagined it. No? Well, all I can tell you is, for a bunch of math champions, those girls sound pretty stupid. Guess forget it. Katie. Work so very hard to make their talents fly. They 
Five minutes on the videotape, I think it's time for an encore. Come on, everybody, sing! So could the cast move upstage and maybe on the set and could we have the stage managers come down please?
thank you for okay. Thank you for watching our musical that we worked on for about nine weeks. We have spent a few days on the weekend working on this magnificent <laughs> musical to show you all. We are very appreciative to all the teachers who have helped, made, and worked with us to make this musical that we stage manager think is a great success. Now we will bring in representatives from each section of the musical to make a speech of appreciation to the seven teachers that help, helped us. First, we have Ryden to read a speech written by Reina to thank Ms. Cunningham for the props and Ms. Shu for the backstage. We are very grateful to have had these wonderful experiences with you working on this amazing musical in props and backstage. With help from you, we had a great time making the musical the best it can be. You cannot have an amazing performance without a hard working crew and especially the faculty that oversaw our progress and helped hone our skills as creators. This project would not have been possible without you. You've helped us so much. Once again, thank you for your support. We hope to work with you again in the future as possible students or again in an after school program. Come on up, Michelle. 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 Harper to thank Miss Schwartz for the costumes. <laughs> I would like to say thank you to Miss Schwartz, the costumes director, for her, her hard work and the time that she put into the musical. It's really hard to direct 20 kids to do projects, and yet she was able to get all the actors clothed and organized in time to do the musical. She taught us things we didn't know and did the things that we couldn't do. She's very reliable in everything. It was a great opportunity to work with you. Again, thank you so much, Ms. Schwartz. <laughs> Ms. Schwartz, come on up. Thank Mr. Neil for the sound of your life. I'd like to thank down Mr. Neil on behalf of the Lights and Sounds group. When we first met, I don't know, two months ago, we had no idea how to run the technical side of this fabulous show. But because of Mr. Neil taking so much time and teaching us everything we could possibly need, we are here today running a very crucial part of this musical. Thank you, Mr. Neil, for making this musical possible. We have Eli Scott to make a great thank you for, to Miss Calendar for the music and singing. I would love to thank Miss Calendar. We did not make her job easy for her, but no matter how many times we forgot the lyrics or tune of a song, she helped us. She also helped our entire team on every single solo song, pulling us aside throughout the day and pushing us to be our best. Um, we could not sing as a group a few weeks ago, but with the help of this calendar, we could do what we did today. Uh, this calendar never gave up on us and pushed us to be our best. The cast and I will forever be grateful. Thank you. and Eli to, for a great speech. And as a representative for all cast and backstage crew, I would love to thank, uh, I would love to give a big thank you to Ms. Torsha, the director, and Ms. Gessling, the producer, for all the things you have done for us. 
First of all, I would love to thank you two for giving me, this, me and Karen the opportunity to be a student stage manager. We have learned a lot of things from taking this role in the musical, and we are both glad that, that we are able to be a part of this wonderful community. Mrs. Jacqueline, you have taught us many things from the start to the end, the way musicals work, and what the role of student manager meant, and all the things we, could, we wouldn't have known about behind the musical if you weren't too kind to teach us. Ms. Torshin, oh, Ms. Torshin, we know you are new this year, and so are we, the stage managers. We are so very happy that we got to learn and make, this, make together this amazing show, which was a total success. Uh, we were very, very lucky to have a great and kind and passionate person as a director like you. Kalana, Ms. Gessling, and Ms. Kahn, uh, Sorsha. you too and we are looking forward to working with you too and all the teachers we have worked together to make this fantastic show. Again, thank you so much Mrs. Torshin and Mrs. Gasoling and all the teachers to make this musical. Thank you for watching Dear Nina. Okay. Before we move on, uh, we just want to thank the two the student stage managers for volunteering to do this role. We couldn't have done this show without you two. You came here every practice, most of them, and, and you played these songs over and over until you probably dreamed about them. And I just want to thank you two for just volunteering. Thank you. And also, we would like to make a big thank you to we Carol. Are, we have one last announcement. From <laughs> <laughs> the Lamb family, we would like you to pull out your phones. You might want to record this. Maybe, maybe. Carol. <laughs> Sorry. What? Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, okay. You're the nicest and kindest and funniest person we've ever met. And this musical wouldn't have been the same without you. And we probably wouldn't have been the people we are today without this gorgeous woman. You're one of the nicest, kindest, and most trustworthy people we know. And we're so sad that you're leaving. I love you more than anything. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Okay, let's not cry. Also, this is not rehearsal. This is just, we just came up on this on the spotlight to like, yeah. <laughs> we hope you come back to visit us because Brazil won't be as cool as Japan. We we like we'll miss you so much. We'd like the audience to give her a round of applause. Thank you so much.